There, it's Walt. I was at an amazing conference uh, this past week with some great people and some powerful, powerful content. Just a huge amount of information, really exciting information that I'm, I'm excited to be able to bring and share to our community and to use uh, in our business. And I started thinking as I was leaving the conference about the, the difference between people who take the information and actually implement it in their lives and actually create change for themselves in their lives. And the difference between those people and the people who, who don't do anything, who stay, who stay stuck. And I realized that I think that there are a number of uh, ingredients to success uh, in any area of our life. And it's not just about information, of course, because if it was just about information, which is available just about anywhere, if it were just about information, all of us would be rich and thin and living on a beach. Uh, because there's information that would tell us how to do that. So information is 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 a key point, but it's it's not the linchpin. So what are the other ingredients? Well, certainly the desire to do something is important. You have to have a burning desire um, to do amazing things in your life. If you want to up-level your health, if you want to um, improve your relationships, if you want to create an extraordinary business, if you want to create prosperity and freedom, you have to have that burning desire to create that in your life. But it's not just desire either, because, you know, while I love the book, The Secret, the movie, The Secret, the the secret really isn't just kind of sitting on your couch and visualizing all of this, wanting it, because it actually requires a, a third key principle, which is action, implementation. We actually need to do something with the information and with our desire in order to change up the game. And so information is key. The desire is essential. And the action is important. And, of course, action in a deliberate way, in a strategic way. It's one of the things that I have such a burning um, passion around, helping people create that, that clear success path so that they can implement effectively. I love working with people to help them to do that in a strategic and deliberate way. But it's... It's not just those three things. There's a, there's a fourth piece that I think is so missing from the elements of success, and that is belief. You have the information, you have the desire, you're willing to take the action, or maybe you're even taking the action. Do you believe that you can get to where you envision you know, I look back at my own life. Um, I was a trial lawyer. I was always, I loved the practice of law. I loved helping people, but I got tired. I got burned out by the adversarial nature of the work. And I envisioned um, a life as a coach and consultant. I envisioned using my skills as a lawyer in a more collaborative, constructive way. And I had the idea, I had the desire but I didn't really believe for a long time that I could make the jump, that I could replace my income, that I could have the same level of success and satisfaction that I had in the law. I didn't believe that I could cross that Rubicon to something that was, um, that was more satisfying, that fit more in integrity with who I was. I wanted it, but I, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in my capacity to make it happen. And of course, you know, all of those voices, that we have, there are, there's so much that challenges us in our world that says, you know, be happy with what you have. Um, don't put things at risk. Um, 
the cultural messages around professions, you know, being a lawyer, being a trial lawyer had a lot of stature and respect to it. And so why would I give that up? I, I didn't believe that I could have that or more on in some other place. So I lacked this fundamental belief that it was possible. And the belief, those stories, those voices that challenged my own confidence, my own belief, conspired to keep me stuck for a long, long time. And I think that that I wasn't unusual. I think that those voices, both um, spoken by people who are closest to us, who have our best interests at heart, who want for us, who want what's best for us, those external voices, and even in a more pernicious way, in a more insidious way, those internal voices that challenge our belief, our ability, our confidence in ourselves to go the distance and to create that work, that life that we really, that we really, really want. And so information, sure. Um, desire, absolutely. Implementation, critical. But the core piece I want you to, to think about, to reflect on is your belief in yourself, your fundamental belief in yourself that you can do that. And a lot of, you know, if, if, if that's at play for you, a lot of that is about how we talk to ourselves, that, oh, that internal voice. And also it's about surrounding ourselves with people who, who do believe in us, who want to affirm that wonderful place that we want to go in our lives. So, that's what I've been thinking about this week, and I invite you to perhaps reflect on those beliefs that are impacting your own life. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.